Hello YouTube, VampireCon here and today I'm going to be showing you how you could get you know the future Sprite Phase 3 you could only like just I know I've made this like very quickly but just so you know with the future Sprite um you can't really upload any games with it yet well I mean it's not even on the beta version and yeah, but I will show you how to get this. This is almost like for looks until it is actually released. So yeah, and onto the tutorial. The tutorial. So first thing, um, I would like to give out a shout out to my friends' YouTube channel, Gamers Warehouse, where you know they review gaming equipment. And what I don't, I'm not gonna bother saying this word because. I don't want to. But yeah, you could check them out. They basically just review gaming equipment. And yeah, so on to the video. So let's close this. So we, what you want to do is go to this. I'll put the link in the description. Clone Troop. Uh, it's a Roblox Studio Mod Manager. So you are going to download the mod manager, right? And then let me close this. I'm not going to save. And already you go, it's going to come in a zip file and you're going to unzip it. And then you go to open, you no know, Roblox Studio mod manager. So your one should look like this with your studio or branch as a Roblox. So you go change that to site test to Roblox Labs. Then you go launch studio and then you and then once it's launched and all that, you are going to close it. The reason why is because once you do that, if you don't do that, when you go edit flags, the these won't appear. So you're going to have to open Roblox Studio like first by saying launch studio on test site two. So after you did that, you're going to go here and type future or just it, you know, the, that and it should appear like you're going to go to futures right phase three. You go click it. Now select like all the these that you don't play with those, but you other than this. So I'm going to click overwrite selection and with futures bright phase three not this false one you, you this should be the only one that appears i'll be messing around you turn that to true your one should generally be false but you go to turn it to true and you just go close it it should automatically save and once you've done that you go click launch studio and then wait for this to launch so, so it might take a while. I'm just going to wait. Okay. You go, no. Get, open the, like a new game. Wait for it to load again. Not all that. Long loading. Okay, now that you're here, so on the base plate or any other thing so let's maybe build a quick house so I'm going to make my one like let's go with wood put that there okay just yeah you know, it's gonna be a quick quick house and the walls are gonna be maybe Let's say we should try out um concrete. Yeah, that looks fine. I'm just gonna quickly make a no house because we're gonna test this. Okay, now I I'm also gonna change the roof color to well, not color, but okay. The bricks doesn't look good. I don't 
No. Uh. You know what? I'll leave it like that. So now if you did the instructions and you put your future thing to true, it should be here at the technology. So I'm going to you no know, select that. And then now we're going to I'm going to show you like Roblox has three lighting surface, I think surface light, point light and spotlight. And I'm going to show you all of those they've also like kind of changed the way how they work. So let's put you know add a some random lighting like you know, I'm gonna go with surface light. As you can see, they've already they have changed like the way how like emit like you know and hit so when you look here you could see the light is kind of reflecting off the wood and uh way and all of that. But take it a bit back here. It's kind of weird here. Remember this this isn't even in the beta version of Roblox, so don't expect it to be perfect. Well now or let it be better. You'll see this basically affects the Roblox given you know the materials that Roblox gives you. And they do have a PBR which is physically based rendering. Just but you know, I'm not gonna go on about that. Okay, so that's our surface. We could like you know, maybe use this as in a way your lighting. Surface the surface light is almost like spotlight, but more like a squarish. You'll see what I mean when I put the spotlight. So you gonna put the spotlight here. Okay, so I'm going to delete that and add a spotlight. Okay, we're going to move this. Move some of this for space. As you can see, it's a circle and like it kind of emits differently to this. And this really works well like not the spotlight, like generally all the lighting, like with metal. Like if we go here, let's bump up these because they do affect the textures. Yeah, it looks kind of more brightish. Like it's mainly to do with, I guess, the metal reflection, I think. Yeah, then last one is going to be a point light. Now what this does, it's basically it's a light that emits in like an entire circle like that, like it doesn't exactly show. But it is a circle and you know like if you want to follow an entire area with the light you could just do that. And it does it's very well. So now let's get on to metal. Because that that's like the way how lighting reflects off of it is quite good. So we've added our metal and we Going to resize it. I'm going to just duplicate it and add a surface light. Put it here. So now let's change the color. I'm going to change it to green. I'm going to make this a bit bright. Okay, it does seem like the shadows are kind of affecting, but you can see that we get this like bright thing here and we could like enclose this like real quickly so we're going to use our green light as the example okay so yeah now let me add a another type of um no diamond plate and you can see it reflects like very well with this as well. And yeah, that's basically features bright. Well, it's going to you know get more updates and all of that because you know this isn't exactly like the full re release of it because like again I must say it's not even in the um, Roblox Studio beta. 
So you can mess around with this. I, I really can't wait until it's out. Because it is going to look like Roblox is going to look much better, especially with surface appearance when that comes out as well. So yeah, we could just mess around with this. Like I haven't tested all materials, so let's do that in this area here. You can see like it really does make Roblox look much better with their textures. Like some of them not really like force field. They're like this check brick. Yeah, some of these look quite good. Like I made it a bit too bright so everything looks kind of greenish. But yeah, so that's how it's going to what Roblox is soon gonna look like with its lighting. It's gonna look very good in my opinion. Like it even does kind of affect the floor. You could see above the lighting compared to here. You could see the difference. And yeah, that's basically the tutorial. If you like this video, then you know, like and subscribe. I guess I'll see you guys next time. See ya.